Charlie's. How am I feeling? Brave. How are you feeling? You're two nil down. <laughs> I feel great, Anthony. I'm not nervous at all. No. Anyway, I'm going to focus on the dish in hand. I think it's a winning dish. I just hope he does. First of all, um, it's got apple in it. Apple and black pudding, very traditional yeah. ingredient. A little bit of butter in my pan here. I'm just going to add my apple. This is just a just a normal eating apple, nicely cubed, and mm. I'm going to just give that a toss round. You want to keep it crunchy, or are you going to? No, I actually want it to be so soft, not so soft that it's like apple sauce, but yeah. certainly not so that you bite into it and it's crunch because it's got to get into my ravioli. Mm. Um, so what are you going to do with the black pudding? Okay, the black pudding is going to get tossed in amongst. I'm just going to literally take the skin off. Now this is real black pudding, as in it's incredibly um, soft and fatty and yummy and unctuous. Um, and then I'm, this is my um, ravioli. I've just got some uh, some wrappers here, and I want to very carefully take off my damp cloth, keeping them. Are you using uh, Chinese wrappers? Yeah, but this is just flour and water. It's exactly yeah. the same ingredients as pasta. And you know what I like about it is it's thinner. And you want it thin, otherwise it's thick and it doesn't really work. I think it's actually quite a clever idea. I like yeah. that idea to use. Oh, yeah, that, I am. I'm so... just worried about the Chinese omen and her duck dish. Oh, yeah, no. the, the, um, he didn't like. I, you know, I don't think he's, he will ever realise that, to be I've honest. I've just got um, here um, some crispy bacon which is going to go on top. Okay. Again, another classic. Do you want to knock one of these quickly or wait till they come I'm back? Gonna, I'm, I'm going to... Well, this is going to go in here. I've just put a tablespoon of um, the mixture in the middle and then you just go around the edges and you need to push all the air out. Yeah. And then you get a cutter and you just go around like that um, and make sure that all the... So you get the kind of pretty edge. Yeah. And then it's actually quite important to refrigerate them so they don't get like that, so they dry out slightly, which means they're less likely to explode. Um, and then in my pan... How long are you going to cook those for? Um, literally about two to three minutes. Yeah, well, I'm going to pop them into the water now. Um, and you want... Uh, just ticking over, as we say. Yeah. Um, and you've got to remember, everything inside this is cooked, so it's just a question of heating them through, as yeah. opposed to... Do they call those guizo wrappers? No, guizo wrappers no. are thicker. They're a bit thicker, are they? <laughs>